Hi guys, Jen here from a and Suds and Such and Bee Scented Fragrance Oil Supply. Welcome back to our third episode of Soaping Basics. This is our additives and our final preparation for soap making. And I forgot something. Mom, Mommy. Yes, sweetheart. Oh, no, you're not. take him to the bathroom. You need him washed off? Yeah. Go get a wipey and we'll wash him off. Okay, so first episode we got our life solution ready. That was it. Second episode we prepped all of our oils which are sitting back here. This episode we are going to prep all of the other stuff that goes in with soap making. Um, your, your fragrance, your additives if you want to add any, your colors if you want to add color, um, all that stuff. I'm gonna pick out a color um, for this soap. Um, there we go. And, th and we're gonna do all this this part. So, the first thing that I like to do when I'm getting the rest of everything ready is um, my fragrance. So, I'm gonna do this uh, soap for you guys, simple. It'll be in pink grapefruit, which is a simple scent, very uh, slow mover. You can get the fragrance that be scented. And um, for this recipe, uh, I'll be right back. I need my phone. Okay, I'm back. So for this recipe, I like to use 5% fragrance. So it's 25 ounces of oils. We'll do 5%, which is 1.25 ounces of fragrance. Now, if I did the total, which would be, let's see, that's doing your 5% of your oils. Get that out of my way. 38, per, 38 ounces is the total recipe, which is 1.9. So anywhere between the, the, the 1.25 and 1.9 is good for this size recipe. Um, I'm actually going to do about one and a half ounces. That's what I do when I do the two pound soaps is about one and a half ounces of fragrance. So let's get that measured out. You just wanna make sure you, are, you use a safe amount. You want a nice strong scent, but you don't wanna to use too much. Uh, too much can cause, um, let me make sure that measured right because my scale cut off. Too much can cause irritation. Yeah, that's right. That's good. 1.45 is good. And the second thing, uh, let me turn this off so I can talk to you guys about it. Um, you guys all know in my soap recipes that I use cream. Cream is always 5% um, of the oils, so we need the 1.25 ounces. So we're going to measure out one and a quarter ounces of cream for this recipe. And that has already been subtracted from my water solution. Woo! Hello, Betsy. That scared me. container fell down and lots and lots of people ask me what is cream this is cream heavy whipping cream or whipping cream is what you use this gives that creamy luxury feel in your soaps it's fantastic for your skin so this is a new container I'm opening and all of the containers are different from wherever you buy. So we need one and a quarter ounces. Woo! 
1.335 is okay. It's not a huge error when it's just, when it's this. Now, if that was a lie or something, then yes, I would need to remeasure. And where I do a water discount in my soap, if I measure over just a little bit on my cream, it's okay. So let's move my scale out of my way. I recommend anywhere from one teaspoon to one tablespoon of additives per pound of soap. So for this recipe, you know, it's the 25 per pound of oils is what I mean to say. Um, I do one teaspoon to one tablespoon of additives per pound of oils. So this is 25 ounces. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon is what I'm going to use per each additive. We're going to add goat milk. And this is a little measuring spoon that I have and it has a line in here for one teaspoon and one tablespoon. So we're going to get that measured. There's our gulp milk. And this is colloidal oatmeal that I am going to measure if I can get down to it. This uh, scoop is two tablespoons. I use it for my bigger batches. So here's a tablespoon of my colloidal oatmeal, which is fantastic for your skin. I use it in every single recipe. Kale and clay is also another great additive for your soap. It adds a silky feel to your soap. It, el it is helps detox your skin, pull toxins you know out of your skin. It also is a great, um, put that over here. I'm making a mess. Ugh, there we go. It's also great for sensitive skin. It's a universal clay for all skin types. So, I need to wet a wash cloth here. So I can mop up these powders off of my work surface. You know, your colloidal oatmeal helps lock in the moisture in your skin. It's just great. These are the additives that I like to use. So I'm going to give them in this recipe for you. This is what I like. So we have our additives back here. Now this is also when you would measure out if you're wanting to do an exfoliating soap. You would measure out your exfoliant. Um, and now here is our colors. So let me get a teaspoon. This is our red raspberry or wild strawberry mica. As you can see, I'm going to do about one teaspoon. And you can either, because I super fat my recipe at 5%, I didn't put that in there, but it will be in the description. You can either take out oil from your recipe if you do not want to add any extras in there, like if you are super fatted at like 7%. But where I do a 5% super fat and I do additives, I don't mind to get a little bit of extra oil in there. It's not going to hurt a thing. So, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of olive oil to the colorant. And if you have a little mini whisk, this is great to use. If you have one of these little mini buzzers, that's fantastic. If not, you can use a popsicle stick 
to mix in your color. Just take your time. You're not in a rush. You're getting everything ready for when you do make your soap, you're ready to go. You have nothing to worry about. Everything's here in front of you. You're ready to go. So, I'll just leave my little popsicle stick in here. Since we're doing pink grapefruit, you know we're gonna have a pink soap. And we're just gonna do one solid color. You'll need your mold. Make sure your mold is handy. I'm gonna sit it right here. And the very last thing is you need your stick blender. All right, so here's the end of my stick blender. Right there. Sorry, ugh. It's like nails on a chalkboard there. Sorry. And we're gonna plug it in. Just like so. So we'll be ready. I have my paper towels here if I need them. And I have my uh, spatula in my soap bowl. And that's it. We have our additives ready. We are ready to go to make soap. Um, we have everything ready to go that we need. That way once we get going, we don't have to worry if we're missing anything, if, uh, oh, we have forgot this, or anything like that. You know, everything is laid out here before us. I put it all back here. You guys can see that. There it is. Everything is back here. We've got our cream, our fragrance, our color, and our additives for our soap. My oils are sitting right there, and we're ready to go. So, I will bring you guys back for the next episode of Soaping Basics, and it is actually making our soap. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you on the next video.